Hello everyone! Today we will try to package MSI plus MST with optimized workspace and see how it can be done in practice. So first of all you can choose the packaging tool you need. I will install the one I need from the toolbox called Workspace Launcher. We will work with optimized packaging engine that might be already familiar to you. This time we will work with an app called Java Runtime. So we can click Run. As we can see, optimized packaging engine allows you to detect MSI inside vendor source. So we don't want to break rules and that's why we will copy our MSI to the temp folder. Ok, so we can close it and we start to edit our MSI with Advanced MSI Editor. So the first thing we do is create a new transform. Consequently, we choose the place where we want to save it. And of course, give it a name. So the first section that we will edit, it will be properties. And the first property we insert is end user license agreement. It won't allow the additional window to appear while installation. The second one will be web analytics. It will disable analytics for installed GRE. And the third one will be auto update. OK. It will disable auto updates for installed GRE. Every new component that we can add in any section it will be marked with the green color. So we did a bit more. OK. So the next section will be directory. I guess we need to set up the right structure of directories that we need. And the first one will be Windows folder, which is a standardized reference for MSI. OK. And the second one will be system folder. Also a standardized reference that runs built-in system executable. OK, good. So then we go to registry. It's really good that Advanced MSI Editor allows us to import registry keys that we prepared in advance. So you can see how it works in practice. So we import our registries. OK, good. The next section would be custom actions. And the first custom action will be unregister DLL. It will work while uninstallation. 
in order to clean all items related to our app. So we won't find any rubbish in our software environment. Okay. So we write target. It's really important to add this action because everything related to your app should always stay with your app. So that's why when we work on condition we will insert remove all, change sequence. Okay, good. Of course, the components that you add can be different depending on the application you work with, so be really attentive. And the second custom action aimed to delete shortcuts, that's why we named it delete shortcuts. It will work based on the script that we also prepared in advance. So we can add it. It's the VBS script. Choose condition and change sequence. Okay, good. And we also need to change launch condition. So we will just remove it. And the last but not the least is media. We change the label attributed to the volume. Okay, so now we can validate our MSI and check if we did everything correctly. As we can see, there is no error, so we can save our package. And we're done! Stay tuned and get in touch with us. Bye!